Hey, Donnie, 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 Donnie. Nobody loves you more than me, Donnie. You know that, right? So this is going to hurt, but I feel it needs to be said. You were right, of course, when you said that America loves a winner. And they can't stand a sore loser, man. And therein lies the problem, amigo. One way or another, you didn't win that last election. Even supposing the other team rigged it, even if the refs were on the take, whatever, dude, the result is the same. And you can't sit around on the field whining about it. Whining isn't winning. Remember that, amigo. Whining is not winning. You're welcome. The truth is, Biden didn't beat you in the last election. If you really think about it, you beat yourself. And not in a fun way. Look, I love to shit talk as much as the next motherfucker. And TBH, I'm kind of a fucking pro. But sometimes talking shit is, well, self-defeating. Not to mention, if all you do is talk shit, then your breath kind of stinks like poopy. And you're kind of an asshole. Look at it like this. You go to a show, and there's this beautiful babe on stage. A real knockout with a fabulous set of, you know what's, right? Lungs, man, lungs. But when she opens up her mouth, the voice is all out of tune. And let's face it, amigo. What do you do? You run for the exit. And that's how you lost 2020. More people disliked you than Biden. And all of the shit talking was the culprit. It stinks like poopy. And we're all fucking sick of it. So now you're gearing up for another run. And it's just too much noise, man. Fight our enemies. Yay. Fight every fucking body, including your own friends. Boo. Not too complicated, amigo. I've got a few rules I live by. One is the no felony rule. If it's a felony, don't do it. Misdemeanors are negotiable. Depends on the situation. Especially if there's chicks, man. Especially if there's chicks. But I digress. The point is, maybe you need a new rule. You know, to simplify things. To keep you from sticking your foot in your mouth. Again, like if you're going to slag someone off, the question should be, is it presidential? Is that person a worthy adversary of the president? If not... And that's really most of the 8 billion people on the planet move along. But if it's one of the international douchebags, fucking have at it, bro. Also, for what it's worth, it probably wouldn't hurt to apologize for some of the buffoonery along the way. Savvy? And not one of those bullshit apologies that every fucking dipshit trots out when they get caught with their hand in the proverbial cookie jar, man. You know the kind. I'm a human. On this journey, I'm not perfect, still learning, blah, 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 trite, insincere, scripted by some PR consultant type bullshit. Bullfucking shit, man. No, I mean something from the heart, like, sorry, I fucked up, my bad. Mea culpa. Check out that Latin, bro, right? Fucking renaissance, man. Anyway, Donnie, I love you, man, the mostest. So don't fight me on this, and don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Look, it's late, so I'm a bounce now. Like a kangaroo, man. I'm a bounce like a fucking kangaroo. Hey, dude, listen. Keep loose and keep it clean. Hugs and kisses, man. Hugs and fucking kisses.